All right, boys and girls, what you're looking at there is the MCX and the MPX. These are available now at Pyramid Air, $169 for the little guy and $185 for the MCX. So these are magazine-fed, belt-fed, 177 caliber, CO2-powered semi-automatic pellet rifle. It runs off these big 88-gram CO2 cartridges. You just drop that in the butt right there. And it snaps right on like that. What you see here on the bottom MCX is a high pressure air kit. That's only about an extra $100 maybe and you can order those off Pyramid Air as well. So these come with a nice set of real iron sights. These are real metal. We're going to go ahead and compare the accuracy on these two in this video as well as check out the FPS on each of them. Real quick let me give you some hardcore stats. The MCX has an all metal body made by Sig Sauer, the real Sig Sauer. Uses a 88 gram CO2 cartridge, has a rifled steel barrel, 30 round roto belt pellet magazine, adjustable flip up front sight, adjustable flip up rear sight, synthetic stock, metal housing as I mentioned, Weaver Picatinny optics rails, manual safety, life tested with 15,000 shots. So you can pull the trigger on this at least 15,000 times and it will not fail. So these guys are only available in 177. The shorter one right there, the MPX, shoots at 575 feet per second, while the longer one down there, the MCX, is rated at 700 feet per second. The overall length on the MCX right there is 34 inches with an 18-inch barrel length. They both have 30-round magazines. They use the same magazine. Suggested for plinking and fun. Semi-automatic manual safety to CO2 repeater. The MPX is an overall length of 26 inches with a barrel length of 8 inches, so that's quite a difference. 8 inch barrel versus an 18 inch barrel. Interesting. And it does say that it's got fixed power, it's not adjustable, but you can get the high pressure air kit for it. So that's cool. Alright, there's the MCX on the bottom with the original butt stock right there. Let's go ahead and read the description on this bad boy. Decimate soda cans and shred paper targets with the Six Sour MPX and MCX. Based on the gas operated submachine gun of the same name, these guns run off 88 or 90 gram CO2 cartridges to send shots down range of speeds up to 700 feet per second. Each gun includes a 30 round rotary belt pellet magazine and a rifled barrel to increase the accuracy in fast paced tactical shooting sessions. Packed with realistic controls and specs, the MPX exudes all things tactical with this all metal action, durable polymer stock and forend, and long Weaver Picatinny rail. The included adjustable flip up sights are removable and the rifle really begs for a dot sight for even faster target acquisition. The tri-rail surrounds the barrel and features a lower rail and two side rails with small weaver mounts for attaching accessories like flashlights and lasers. Each includes a sling mounts for easy carry to and from the range, sling not included. If you want a one-of-a-kind fast-paced shooting experience that only Six Sour can provide, the MPX and MCX are sure to give fans of target shredding hours of backyard shooting fun for years to come. They are well built, I know that. I've had mine for a few years here, still look new, and they are rated for 15,000 shots or more, so I don't think they'll be breaking anytime soon. This is fully adjustable for windage and elevation. Two apertures just like the real thing. Your front sight is also adjustable up and down. And you can flip it down when not in use. Once again, that's all metal right there. So on the MCX, of course, we got metal sights. This is an all metal charging handle. This whole upper receiver is metal. Lower receiver is metal. This magazine well is metal with metal switches and everything. We got a polymer magazine, polymer grip. The whole upper receiver, even the rail right here, is actually metal as well, where the charging handle is. And then the polymer begins right here. We got polymer coming down here. Of course, we have metal internal barrel parts. And then this whole shroud right here is aluminum. So the weight on these guys is a hefty six and a half, seven and a half pounds, just like the real thing. So great training weapon. All right, let's see what the trigger pull is like on this guy. Five pounds. So 
So it looks like about a five pound trigger pull. All right, and here's a larger MCX. Let's see if it's any different. So it looks like the triggers are exactly the same. That's cool. So here's the trigger right here. I guess you could say that that's a two stage or I don't know. I think this is a, probably a single stage trigger. So that's it. it actually breaks pretty cleanly. A little bit of kind of a clunky first stage, I guess you would call that. And then pop, really nice break though. Yeah, boy, you could actually probably shoot some accurate rounds with this baby. So everything's exactly the same as like an M16 AR-15 on this. It's all super sturdy and to get the magazine out, you just press the other side here. Slides right out. So to load this guy, you just open this door right here on the magazine. Pull this belt out. So you'll notice there's a ring on one side of the belt right there. You want that metal ring to be down on the surface. You just drop your pellets in like that and give them a little push and they'll seat right in there real nicely. Just fill up your belt and you'll be ready to go. Alright, so you see this little notch right here on the top. Okay, there's also one on the bottom right here. That is what you want to line up with that little tab sticking out right there. So you just slide that right through there and you're in. This thing will go right in like butter gonna go up here and just go all the way around like that now it's only gonna go in one way it should go in easy like that and now you can see it'll just rotate indefinitely doesn't matter what position it's in close that baby up I need to slam that magazine in there go ahead and pull the charging handle back just like the real thing and you're ready to rock and roll all right, we're going to start this party at 12 yards away. Here's some of the pellets that I'm going to be trying out today. I'm going to start off with these 10.34 grains, though. I sight this baby in. So I got my MPX outfitted with a pretty nice scope. It's an MTC Optics Mamba Light. Really awesome scope. Has a great reticle. Has a parallax down to 10 yards, which is really nice. And it has a nice metal scope cover on the front there. With my first magazine, I was having a lot of issues with jamming. And then when you put these in... Okay, when you put these in, of course you have to push them in like this. And you can actually feel them snap in. So you think they're in there, but then when they're rolling around the mag, they tend to fall out when they're trying to cycle. So we're going to have to push these even further in and snap them way inside the magazine. So... Get yourself something a little bit pokey, but not something that's going to mess up, you know, the skirt and all that stuff. And we're going to go ahead and just snap those in there. You can see they're way inside there. So I'll bet you this is going to cycle perfectly now. Okay, I'm about 2,400 PSI and a 3,000 PSI fill. I've got my HPA hooked up to my MPX right here with my side shot. I think I'm ready to shoot a official group. At 12 yards. You guys, I decided going slow wasn't really getting me any more accurate. I was aiming right here, basically, and I did not hit it very much. Maybe I should put my crosshairs to the middle right here. Try that again. All right, about 2,600 PSI. Let's try this again.
So there's my 30 shot group. Um, definitely throw some flyers every once in a while. Maybe JSB 10 grain is not the preferred pellet for this gun. So lighter pellets I have around right now are some Crossman Premiers. Right now we're shooting these right here. The pointy 7.4 grain Premiers. You can see them next to the 10 grains that we just shot. So hopefully these will be flying at a more accurate speed. Oh yeah, these guys were gonna come watch the SIG. Hey buddy. Oh, that's a little baby fawn. Hi. This is part air gun channel, part nature channel. Hi buddy, this guy's like about two feet tall. I think his friend's coming out there too. This is a Dasher and Prancer, I believe. And their mom's name is Daisy. Hey, buddy. Real cuties. Hi there. I'm about like probably 15 feet away from these guys right now. But they, they like me. They totally trust me. They've been watching Airgun Channel since they were born. He's like, dude, can you get away from our apple tree, please? We are coming by to eat some apples and you're shooting. Sorry, buddy. We're doing better so far. No extreme flyers. All right, definitely a nice tight 50 cent piece sized group until I started going crazy. So I think that this gun likes the lighter 177 caliber pellets better. All right, I get my buddy Bugaboo with an apple on his head. All right. I was afraid of that. Hold on, let me load some more up. You know, it's kind of fun shredding the apple off this guy. This apple took about, shoot, probably at least 40 shots. Definitely don't eat this guy, it'll get lead poisoning. Thanks for helping us out, Bugaboo. No problem, Nate. And once again, thanks to your shooting, I am uninjured. Yep. Haven't hurt you yet. Got a little applesauce on you, though. <laughs> You're so funny, Nate. All right, I got a target out there at 25 yards. Let's see what the uh, MPX with its 8-inch barrel, 25 yards, HPA setup. Okay, now that's not too bad for uh, 25 yards with an 8 inch barrel traveling between 5 and 550 feet per second. So the reason I shot this at 25 yards is because when we get the MCX out with its 18 inch barrel going 650 to 700 feet per second, we'll see the difference. Hopefully we'll get a little better group, but that did stay consistent even during rapid fire. All right, guys, I just found these JSB mystery pellets. I believe they are 8-grain JSBs, although the label got torn off. So I loaded up a clip of 30. I'm right at 3,000 PSI. I'm going to go ahead and shoot at 25 yards real fast see what happens here.
25 yards right there. 10 yards, JSB 8 grain, MPX 8 inch barrel, 30 round group. Here we go. Well, that was pretty sweet. We got a lot of shots in that quarter size bullseye. A few around the outside, maybe three flyers. Yeah, that is pretty good. So I think we found the pellet for this gun. The 8 inch barreled MPX likes the JSB 8 grains. Just to verify this impressive group with the JSB 8 grains, check it out. That's 30 shots. Not bad. Now these little guys, they are basically just plastic with a little bit of lead on the end. Wow, 500 feet per second, nice. And now these are my 8 grain JSB pellets. Alright, now that 10.5 grain Crossman Pereer Piranhas. Wow. So those heavy guys right there were uh, flying pretty good. Alright guys, these are some 13 grain. All right, now my heaviest pellet, the 16 grain JSB. These are a 177 caliber Daisy pointed pellets and they weigh eight grains. Got the MPX right here. We're gonna go ahead and chronograph this baby and see what it does shot string wise from a 3000 PSI fill, high pressure air. All right, you guys, I've gone through four magazines, and I'm still not even breaking the 2,000 PSI mark. Started at 3,000 PSI, so that's pretty good. That's 120 shots, and I'm still going strong at more or less where I started between 290 and 350, so pretty amazing. Now on the chronograph meter, we have the MPX's big brother, the MCX. So this has an 18-inch barrel. Over two times longer than the MPX with his 8 inch shorty. So let's see what this guy does for FPS. I'm using the same exact Daisy 177 caliber pellets. There you guys see that? It's still at 2600 PSI after two magazines. All right, you guys, we see we're still at 2,500 PSI, so I'm sure this gun's going to keep going and going. So basically, I think this thing will probably keep going one or two more clips. Let's see how fast it's going to shoot these 5.4 grain plastic lead hybrid pellets here. Wow. Five to 550 on those, not bad. All right, y'all, I think you know what time it is. It's MCX accuracy time. So I got all these pellets lined up, some targets. We're gonna go ahead and test these all at 10 yards right there. Burn through these real fast and see which one's the most accurate. First up we have the Crossman 
5.4 grain hybrids. Very nice. Well, those did pretty good, you guys. I'd say that's almost a nickel sized group. Eight of the ten inside of it. Very nice. Good job, guys. All right, these right here are some alloy with plastic tips. These, these are more ballistic than lightweight, but I do think they are between five and six grains right there. Not bad there at the end. Boy, they started going right where I was aiming. Those might warrant further testing. I'll see if I can hit this apple off his head at extreme velocity. Now we got our good old pointy. I'm assuming these are around eight grain daisies. Holy crap, you guys, look at that. That tin of pellets cost me literally $2, I believe, at Walmart. So, those Daisy 177s, dime size hole, freaking fabulous. All right, you guys, I gotta take a shooting break because uh, my friend the deer is here with all his friends. Hey, guys. All right, you guys, these are exact heavy Diablos, 10.5 grain JSBs. I do seem to remember that the uh, MPX did not like those pellets either. 10.34 grain, no. And 8 grain JSBs, here we go. Oh, this gun does not like JSB pellets for some reason. Okay, now we have 13 grain monster heavy. That was weird. I think I should do one more group and aim a little higher. Well, I can't say that's not the worst group. Mr. 13.43. Now we got some 10.5 grain Crossman Premier Piranhas. Okay, this might be kind of cool. I got my best shooting pellet, the Daisy 177s. I remember it was shooting a teeny bit to the right. Let's go ahead and pop these tins and see what happens. Alright, damage assessment. It definitely hit these, but it didn't punch clean through them like I thought it would. Gave them a good dent, but that's your damage assessment at 10 yards. Alright, you guys, so right here I took my two most accurate MCX pellets and shot them at 25 yards. This group that I just did right there on the top, that's about typical of the best group that you'll get at 25 yards. So it didn't shoot really that much better than the shorter barreled MPX at that range. 
the best you're gonna get is probably around a silver dollar size group. You're definitely safe if you're a bullseye at 25 yards away. All right, you guys, so guess what? Spoiler alert, these guns actually perform better off of CO2. And that's because the valves that are inside these guns were designed for CO2, not high pressure air. So I filmed this about two months ago. And the reason I didn't get to the CO2 accuracy testing was because I actually bought these JT brand CO2 cartridges. And when I screwed them in, they didn't puncture the seal and so they didn't work. Now the ones that did work that I had before in these guns were the Umarex brand. So all I can tell you is that the Umarex ones do work. The JTs do not. I'm assuming that the Air Venturi ones from Pyramid Air are going to work as well. So that's just something to note. These are definitely fun little guns. I had a fun time owning them for a couple years and reviewing them a few times. I know BB-8 really liked them. The good news is the gun we've been waiting for for a whole year, the Sig Sauer Virtus, is finally out. Now it is a regulated PCP, but don't get too excited. It's only 12 foot pounds. At least for a lot of you guys that watch my videos in Canada and the UK, here's a gun that you guys will actually be able to buy. I'll be getting one of those straight away so we can check out the trigger pull, see how it shoots and all that. For now, thanks a lot for tuning in you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you to everyone that's been using those affiliate links down below. Take care, happy shooting. And we'll see you on the next one.